just want a room. I only have one room. You only got one? How much, man? No, I'm, I, I'm sorry, you're lonely. Yeah, well, maybe your, your, your security guard pal. Now, maybe he could come over and comfort you. I was stupid to think anything could be different or change. You think I'm stupid? Yeah. You're asking me if I, mean, I think you're, you're taking too long to answer. Huh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sheldon B. Runyon from the great state of Illinois. I'm not guilty, but responsible. I am. I like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, 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 may, uh, I may use that. If, if I, you if wish, I may, you can go ahead. Thank you. Yeah. When. Um, <clears throat> I didn't hear about this. Well, it's. Uh, it's. Um, It'll be into uh, it'll be in tomorrow afternoon's edition. Just in time for the congressman to make his statement, and just in time for it to uh, stick in the minds of Americans over the weekend. Pettigrew's alive, and he's right there. Hey, it's mental. Don't use your rat. Show me. Give in to him, Ron. What are you trying to do? Just tell her! Where are the stones? I don't know. And even if I did know, I wouldn't tell somebody like you. Why? What's wrong with me? Life, which you so nobly serve, comes from destruction, disorder, and chaos. Now take this empty glass. Here it is, peaceful, serene, boring. Cheers. May I present Ludwig van Beethoven? I cannot hear them, but I know they are making a hash of it. What do you think? Had you ever seen Dr. Lecter before the court assigned you to him for therapy? What do you mean? Socially? How did he end up at your house? I invited him, of course, to my pied de terre. I came to the door in my nicest come hither outfit. I was concerned he'd be afraid of me, but it didn't seem to be. That's almost funny now. <laughs> I'm her husband. Yeah. Yeah. Widowmix is practically related. <laughs> Let's see, we're sitting down here, ready to negotiate. <laughs> You've already given up your shit. I'm still a mystery to you. See, if I ask if you want some dinner, and you grab the egg roll and start to try down, I said to myself, this man, he's carrying on like he ain't got a care in the world, and who knows? Maybe he don't. <laughs> oh. Marty, you know what we got here? Where are you going, Sydney? Oh, Mark, you wealthy. Give me some money. Sydney has a sex pistol. All your human needs are seen to. Food, beer, designer wardrobe. Why do you need money? Well, I don't know. Little things around the house. What sort of little things? What are those bruises on your arm? I fell over. Look! Oh, that's really cool. Hey, where's the key? What is? <laughs> Well, 
to my home. Count Dracula? I am Dracula. See me. See me now. I condemn you to living death, to eternal hunger for living blood. I come to you to learn your minds in this great hour. It appears to be your will also that if this long island story of ours is to end at last, then let it end only when each one of us lies choking in his own blood upon the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Don't move.